Hello, Adam1911 here again. And as you guys know, I love pistols. I love pistols a lot. But there's something else in the market that I love also. And it's replicas. So, you've seen the Pumpmaster 760. Very nice little gun. I put the scope on here. It's beautiful. I love it. Great for target practice. You've also seen the Winchester. It has 1100 FPS and it is sighted in pretty well. I don't have a scope on this, but it, but it's pretty well sighted in. And I love the gun. There's another replica, well, there's a there's a replica of an older gun that I have. Give me a second. This gun, right here, sadly it does not work anymore, is the Crossman Arms Quo Co Fairpoint. It's made in New York, USA. And this is the basic, this is a basic um, pellet gun from roughly the 1970s. You're saying, Adam, what's, what's your point? Well, my point being, I got one. I got a new one. Got a new one of these. It's not this. Not like this. <coughs> Introducing the Legacy 1000. Now, I haven't opened this properly to show, um, to take a look at it. So, my reaction is going to be genuine, um, and I'll go over what you will find in the box. This is basically an unboxing, um, and yeah, we shall get into this right now, so without further ado. I did open it just to um, unhassle it, but um, I haven't actually looked at the gun. So, without further ado, let's open it. And right off the bat, it's, by the way, it's uncovered in bubble, it's not ever, it doesn't come in bubble wrap, apparently. So, this is the gun. This is the gun right here. A little bit of a bolt. Okay. I'm guessing, oh, it's got a green dot as well. Okay. It's got a, it's got a nice trigger feel to it. Um, compared to this... So, it's got a little bit more springy. Okay, that's nice. Um, I'd say also the bolt's a little bit harder to pull back. Cool. So that's nice. Um, I read it's a it's twelve pumps for a thousand FPS. So that's nice. And it goes, two pumps is 550, um, six pumps is 850, and 12 pumps is 1,000. So, there's that. This is also dual ammo, apparently. Um, so, the BBs would go in this little slot right here. So, you feed them in via the hole in the bottom. And you pull this back, and you shake it until they all fill up. Then you close that, and then you cock it, pump it, and fire it, so you don't have to reload it with a pellet every single time. So it's also a pellet fed, obviously, you throw one pellet in there, you pump it, you fire it. Cool. And it's got the name right there, it is it is a Crossman. Um, feels nice. Um... 
the green site, I have no clue how that's going to help. So, we shall see. We shall see. But, safety is definite, which is good. And the trigger is actually metal, which is interesting compared to the plastic ones that I'm getting on the other rifles. Um, so, hold on. Ah, uh, yes. This is also in here. This is the scope. And, okay. Um, I'll have to put this on here in a second. I do have a screwdriver here. Um, so it's a 4 by 15 Crossman scope. Um, and it seems to be, yep, it's adjustable as well. Good, good. So it is, it feels, it feels like good plastic, but I can't tell. Okay, there's caps to cover the, um, the openings there. Um, I don't know. Um, okay, well, that'll be workable. Um, I can work with that. So, let me get this box out of here. And let's compare some things to... Let's get this bubble wrap out of here, too. Let's compare some things from the new to, to the old. So, I have the old, of course. So, the old, the... This bolt is broken, of course, but the bolt feels... Um, again, well made. Um, this one has a decent amount of po power behind it. This one, too, has a decent amount. Um, the safety on this is gone, but whatever. Um, the pump action. This, this pump is also broke, um, but I'm pretty sure it's the same pump mechanism. Um, there's no green tip over here. Um, and also, this is different. The adjustable site down here is different. Good lord. This thing's dusty. Um, then, yep, there's the spring side right there. Um, and the BBs will also go in there as well. Um, Crossman 466. So, yep. Yeah. There's that, and then I already showed you this, so, comparison, they both also have top rails, um, I did have a scope on this, and it's the scope that's on my, um, Powerline Force 26, sorry, good lord, uh, 360, good lord, 760 Pumpmaster, I, I said Powerline, didn't I, I was thinking of my pistol, sorry, um, the Pumpmaster, uh, 760, this scope actually was the original from this, so that's interesting. Um, yep. Then, I mean, if we take a look at size comparison here, they're about the same. I don't know if you can see that or not, um, but they're about the same. And this will be a great plinking gun, possibly a, um, possibly another squirrel gun. The Winchester is the auto automatic squirrel gun. Um, the finish is different. We have wood on this one, because it's the older model. Um, that's obviously plastic wood, but it feels nice. Um, then we just have black plastic on here. And, I, and I'm pretty sure this is the only model it comes in doesn't come in the wooden model anymore because I did not see that at Walmart um, green dots different basically everything that I'm seeing here is basically the same except um, the older one is metal on most of the stuff now I will say the barrel is metal the barrel I can tell is metal um, the inside is obviously has to be metal um, Obviously, that inside is metal. Um, other than that, it's got basically the same... Well, not the same, sorry. It's got the basic same uh, screws for disassembling it. I don't recommend dis 
So let me explain to you how this broke and is in this bad of condition. I disassembled it because the pump leaks. And that was the uh, that was the um, main problem with this. So I disassembled it, tried to put the pump, started to work again, um, and I couldn't put it back together. So there are several pieces missing, like the trigger, so like the safety, uh, also the spring that holds the bolt in place. Um, holds the bolt action back and all that that's missing uh, and I, I still couldn't fix this so um, I did get the gun back together so other than that that's fine but um, other than that this is the closest thing I've ever seen to this so yeah I'm really proud of it um, I'm really impressed, so I don't know. I don't know if you'd call it a replica or just a remodel. I th I'd call it a remodel. Um, it's a remodel of this gun, and um, honestly, they did a really good job with it. They really did do a great job with it, and um, yeah, I will also have a shooting video coming out very soon for this. Um, but other than that, I think that wraps up the review. Um, also, in the shooting video, I'll have the scope on it. So, just for you to see. Um, and everything looks really nice, flush. It fits perfectly fine. Um, honestly. Um, yeah, it looks beautiful as well. So, on that note, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you subscribe, um, like, comment, share this with us other people, and I will see you all in the next video.